Okay guys, so today we have a little different video. I bought a house as I've been talking about recently. So I have a basement and I have a room that I'm gonna be using for my own personal office, which now I get to get all kinds of awesome stuff and decorate it. So some of the first things that I bought right here are in this package that I just received from Amazon. I'm gonna open it and show you what it is today. Okay, so let me tell you the story real quick here before we get started. When I was interviewing Brick Thunder, I told this story, but I had the dates a little bit wrong. I said I was five years old when this happens. Turns out it was more like eight. But what happened was that I was trick-or-treating with my family, and we stopped by this lady's house that my dad knows, and everybody was watching the movie Halloween 3. Now, Halloween 3 is not the greatest movie ever. It's the only Halloween movie that does not have Michael Myers in it and honestly it's it's just kind of a bad movie but the cool thing about it is that it feels like Halloween and the murderer is not necessarily a person it's actually like a corporation where if you put on these Halloween masks made by a company called Silver Shamrock and then you watch this commercial that they're gonna play and it starts blinking and flashing I'm not gonna show it to you because it's a trigger for like epilepsy and stuff like that which they probably didn't realize was a bad idea to put in a movie at the time, but that's how it works. And if you're wearing this mask when you watch that, then somehow that connects with the silver shamrock chip in the back and it kills you. <laughs> It's kind of a stupid concept, but you'd really have to see the movie to understand it. Like I said, it's not the greatest movie of all times, but I connected with it because I was, like I said, like eight years old. I love Halloween. We were trick-or-treating and had bags full of candy, so we're sitting there going through this candy, just eating it all, sorting it out with that smell of Halloween candy as we watched this movie. And I just, I gotta kinda wonder, like I was eight years old and my parents were letting me watch this movie. Maybe they didn't even realize it was on because they were up in the kitchen, we were downstairs. But anyways, let's get down to it. Halloween 3, I've always had that connection to it, so now that I have a house and I can actually decorate a little bit, I went on Amazon and I bought the masks that are in this bag. I bought all three of them, basic masks worn in the movie. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna show them to you as I see them for the first time. Now I have seen these in Party City. I'm not sure if they are the exact same thing, but we are about to find out. So, like I said, there are three masks here. We're going to start with this one, which is the witch mask. i got to get it out of the plastic. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> it's really corny looking, honestly. Um, there is the mask right there. But the thing that I love about it is, even though it's really corny, it looks like that classic Halloween stuff. This is from like 1982. I mean, the movie is. This mask is brand new. And there's actually been several versions, uh, several companies that made these masks over the years since that movie was released. But this is uh, the newer ones. These are by Trick or Treat Studios. You can see this one has a hood on it and it's like this fur. Um, I, I love it. I love the look of that thing. That is a classic Halloween witch right there. And if we turn it around and look at the back, we're going to find this on every one of these masks. It's the Silver Shamrock Novelties chip. Now, like I said, in the movie, this was like a computer chip, and it connected with that weird flashing commercial on the TV when you watched it. And if you had this mask or any of the other ones on at the time, then you would die. So there is the witch. It's a very neon color, which is, you know, the kind of thing you saw back in the 80s and the late 70s with Halloween masks. All the colors were very bright, very like neon looking, which kind of brings me to the next one here, and that would be the pumpkin. Now, I don't remember, each of these has a real name, like that they refer to these as. I don't even know if it says, no, it doesn't say on the, uh, on the tags here. But this is the pumpkin here. Let me get it puffed up for you. Yeah, 
This is the jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> now, I believe, I don't remember if it was in the movie, if these were colored black um, around the mouth, the nose, and the eyes, or if it was just left orange. Probably was black, because um, that just looks right. On some of the older masks, this exists, and then, it, like, midway through, they took these off or something. Um, but on the back of this one, you'll see where it does still have the uh, the silver shamrock chip right there. And this is probably the most memorable mask from the movie. Because um, it is, like, front and center when this kid has it on and he's watching the commercial. But uh, But as far as the color goes, yeah, I mean, it's almost, it's almost like a pink rather than orange because it's just so so neon looking but it's really cool um i would love for it to be a little bit darker than that look a little bit more like what was in the movie but i'm not going to mess with it i'm just going to display it exactly how it is so there it is that's the second one that's the pumpkin and let's move on to the next one and that would be the skull so let me get it out of here i don't know why they have this tied up so tight in here even being um, tied up so tight and folded over and everything. These really have held their shape really good. Now, as I say that, let's get this skull open and see if it held its shape. Yeah, it held it pretty good. Look at that. And that thing really is as big as you think it is as I'm holding it here. Look at this. <laughs> that is a huge mask. And once again, as we turn it around, there's the silver shamrock chip right there. That is really, really cool. I love these masks. And these are the first three that are going to be going in my display in my new office downstairs. So make sure you stay tuned and you guys will get to see me put that whole office together. And there they are. One last look at the Halloween Part 3 masks that I just received. And I gotta tell you, these also were cheaper to buy on Amazon. They did not come in a three-pack. I bought them individually. Um, but I noticed they're at least 10 to 20 bucks more over at Party City than they were on Amazon.